afternoon. Happy New Year, everyone. This is Jared Rand. Welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call. First meditation of 2019, January 1st, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern. Think about, and I'm trying to get this chair that makes the noise to the point where it doesn't make noise, but it's being stubborn. It seems to want to make the noise, so... Um, in this meditation, when you, if you think that you're new, new means never being used, you know, the definition, uh, something that has uh, uh, basically had no usage and it's uh, just been created. If you choose uh, to be refreshed, uh, energized in this existence. Since you are part of all the energy that flows, imagine looking beyond the surface to the what is of what you are, you can literally change anything. You can choose anything. You can be anything. So, what do you want to be? Do you want to be uh, in a negative, fearful, stressful, scary uh, environment of, a, of an existence? Or do you choose to be happy, joyous, blissful, empowered, strengthened, accelerated, where your frequency is higher and higher and higher, and your feel, your feeling of bliss and joy and peace and kindness and happiness is constant. It's not intermittent. So, you know, it's quite interesting that we are all there is. We are part of it. We flow with it. So all the energies, uh, all that exists, we can command. And this is about looking way beyond what we've been taught. Because those teachings are gone. They're what happened before, not now. And in the now, and what you decide to do, how you decide to be, you can be. You can change anything and everything. And there's really no debate on this if you look at some of the proof of it. When you use a wonderful frequency to, let's just say, the emoto of the water, crystals, and, and when you watch what water does with these frequencies, it gets a dead giveaway that shows that the higher your frequency, the better you become. How do you increase your frequency? How do you increase your frequency when everything seems to be oh hum and woe is me and all in the negative context that you live? How do you do that? How do you do that in the midst of a storm? You decide it. Believe it or not, you decide it. And you decide it from your heart mind. Not your mind, your heart mind. And from that moment, you begin your journey of elevating your frequency to the extent where the existence that you were inhabiting, 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 is gone. Because you determined that it wasn't to your liking. And anything that isn't to your liking, you shift your frequency, your energy field, to be in joy and happiness. This is about being new. The old energies must be dispelled, transmuted, neutralized substance in order for the new energies to come in permanently. 
take those energies and you transmute them with the purple tra- purple flame, purple transmuting flame, and you transmute them in neutral receptors so you disperse so they're gone. They go back to central sun. And you replace those with the frequencies of uplifting joy and happiness and peace and prosperity, abundance. No self-criticism. No judgment upon yourself. It's all been forgiven. It's all been washed out. Gone. So you have a new canvas that you create a new picture of where you have decided to exist. You exist in a field in a mist of uplifting frequencies and energies. You feel it literally allow you to become lighter and you float up. All of these things that affect us in a low ebb, a low energy, a tugging, uh, are gone. The reason they're gone is because we've decided to be in a higher frequency. We feel it. We enjoy it. We express it to ourselves and to each other. And this is for everyone. We are, and there are others, are elevating our frequencies from the collective consciousness of the planet. Therefore, everything is going higher and higher and higher. And as this transition, this is the ascension. It's part of it. So, you know, what happens in the ascension, it's already happening. We are collectively deciding to increase our vibrational frequencies to a much higher existence. And that's what we're talking about, a higher existence. If you're into war and conflict and destruction and and, and, uh, abuse and uh, deception, manipulation, all of those things, you decided to be in the low vibrational frequencies where the, the existence, the experience you're having is distasteful, is disruptive, is unpleasant. Why would any of us choose to be in that. Now, we're not talking about materialism, because materialism is fleeting. It's temporary. It's an entertainment. We choose. We decide. We think for ourselves. We create. We expand. We love ourselves and each other. We determine these things. These are all high frequencies. And as you as you practice and as you it, 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 it literally immerse yourself in those, you begin to understand what you are. You are a divine light energy, which is a source of energy that is about all creation. So you are a creator. You create. So if we if we live in a in a world of destruction and and fear and intimidation and stress and worry and all those things that we experience, we've created it. Isn't that amazing? We create it. Someone doesn't create it for us. We create it. But yet we still think that other these others are creating it for us. We we create it because we allow it. We give it energy. We give it power. See? And our energy is so precious. Why would we expend our energy on something so low frequency? Crazy. It's nuts. So in the newness, and the newness is your existence is being transformed into a higher frequency. Your ascension is taking you into a a vibration of bliss and happiness and joy and lightness and extension and you are giving it your power. You are literally giving it your light, your power. So imagine all of us doing this consistently, all the time. This is the newness, this is the ascension. As you ascend, you are nude, renewed, not renewed, but nude, you're nude. And as you continue that, everything changes. 
you're part of the river, you're part of the water, you're part of the soil, you're part of the air. You're part of all of this. Doesn't it make sense since you are part of it and you have a, a consciousness that you can literally form it, you can mold it, you can adjust it, you can tune it? This is a wonderful understanding for each and every one of us that we can do these things. It doesn't take wealth, but none of that. We are all of those things. When we finally understand that, that we are all of those things, we're not just, we're not looking at other things outside of us. We are those. And once we embrace that understanding fully with our heart and mind, we will become it. It's like, do you, do you choose to be to be happy? If you're happy, everything else comes with you. Do you choose to be wealthy? You'll, you will be that one. You'll be that energy. You look beyond the illusion. You look at the what is. You look at creating values, okay, for humanity. And you build, by doing that, you're building wealth, creating values and building wealth. And your joy is what motivates you. Your happiness is what extends you. These are the key elements of your new beginning. And your new beginning is in an ascension, which you are in now. You are ascending. Your energy levels and frequencies are increasing and moving up. And this is a wondrous experience in time. And you are creating because everything around you and you and, and, and of you is shifting to a higher frequency. And you, each and every one of you, are the grand masters of all of this. You are the artists, you're the painters, you're the sculptors, you're the builders, you're the creators. So this is a, this meditation is simply called new. If you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, I'm sure most of you are. And as I talk, relax. Allow your physical body to just move itself into a frequency of total relaxation. You are in the now, so therefore yesterday or tomorrow have no bearing on you at all. Play no key role because they do not exist. Everything is in the now, so you're relaxed. Your body is relaxed. You, you let go of fears, anxieties, stresses, everything. They just drop off of you. You're the master. And as you are relaxing, and I'm talking, you're going to want to breathe through the nose. You want to exhale out the mouth. As you breathe through the nose, you want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and exhale through the mouth. You want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. And as you breathe in, you're breathing in divine positive energy, but you're breathing in a clarity on knowing a complete awareness of who and what you are. You are pure energy. You are part of this universe and all existences. You are part of the flow of creation. You are a grand master of forming what you desire. It's creating. And this energy you bring in, that you're breathing in, from the source of creation, prime source creator God, is infusing you with this awareness. Maybe the awareness has been hidden. Maybe it's been uh, disguised through confusion, but it comes into full clarity and awareness for you because you're part.
permanent. It cannot be hidden forever. So you bring it forth. You raise the vibrational frequency. On all counts. Anything that's not that's not that does not serve you on a higher frequency is does give you nothing. It adds nothing. It suppresses and pulls your energy down and it wastes your energy. Why entertain it? Why not just transmute it into neutralized substance by calling on the purple transmuting flame? Send it back to the great central sun and you're done with it. Do it lovingly and softly. Boom, gone. So as you breathe in, this is what you're breathing in. This is an awareness for you. This is new. It's literally giving you a beautiful kaleidoscope of pictures right in front of you that you are. A beautiful, vibrant, high energy, loving, nurturing, caring, being divine. As you exhale, you're exhaling. It's imperative that we know this. You're exhaling, literally. This isn't just a an exercise. This is a reality. As you exhale, you're exhaling all of the frequencies that you care not to entertain or give energy to any longer. From this day forward, not only this year, this new year, but all years, all time. So you're literally dis- disconnecting. Only your energies are heading in an upward movement and they're being concentrated in creating harmony, bliss, prosperity, joy, and abundance peace in a very high frequency. That's part of your ascension. You're taking in knowledge. You're learning. You're applying this knowledge to a higher frequency. This frequency is carrying you up and up and up. So, you fold into your heart mind. Heart mind is super powerful, much more so than your mind. So you go in through the heart mind, below the neck, right where the two bones are. It's a little bit below there. Go into the heart mind. You go deep and up, deep and up, deeply upward. And as you do this, you find yourself with these beautiful flowing energies that you're part of, that you're immersed in, that you're surrounded by, that you're encased in. And these energies are the gold and white pink light of prime source creator gods, deep eternal love, the purple transmuting flame, the violet ray, the white fire. All of these energies, which you're part of, are flowing with you enhancing and lifting you up, giving you more energy, flowing, protecting, embracing, nurturing you, loving you, caring for you, expanding, growing, intensifying. These are all higher frequencies, and you're part of them, and you invite them to flow with you and mingle with you. and all life on the planet 
for a paradise. This is what we're creating. This is this is why all of this aggression and this silliness that goes on that, that, that we view or we feel is being transmuted into neutralized substance. We're all commanding the purple transmuting flame. We're all using the violet ray. All of these things. And we're one with our higher self. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle, we float up above the planet effortlessly. Our frequency is ever increasing. Our love deepening every second. We call upon all of the light beings, light energy beings, who are everywhere, in every dimension, in every universe, in every existence, who are from deep eternal love and of deep eternal love, to join us in this meditation. We lovingly, graciously thank them, and we feel them come in. They become part of it. That's exciting. And then we call upon all of the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love that join us in this meditation and we feel them we are with them we mingle with them we embrace them they are here in our circle and we lovingly graciously thank them for joining us in this meditation we call upon all of the ascended masters who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love, come in and join us in this meditation. And they too, we feel their presence. We meet with them and we lovingly, graciously thank them. We call upon all of the inner earth and hollow earth inhabitants who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. We lovingly, graciously thank them. They are with us. We call upon all of the galactics who are assisting the civilization of this planet and assisting us out of bondage, breaking free of bondage, thinking for ourselves. Of deep eternal love, from deep eternal love, to join us in this meditation, and we lovingly, graciously thank them, and they too are with us. We call upon all of our loved ones who have passed over in this life, in all lives, of deep eternal love, and from deep eternal love, to join us in this meditation, and we lovingly, graciously thank them. So our great great grandparents are. Uh, some of maybe our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, our friends, all are with us in this meditation. Lovingly, graciously thank them. We call upon the light energy forms that are housed in the following. The sprites, the fairies, the elves, the gnomes, the unicorn, the pegasus, the dolphins, the mermaids, the elements, earth, air, water, fire. meditative sphere floating above us 
harmonizing with the high frequencies, housing all of our meditations since the beginning of last year in perpetual motion. This is a beautiful energy. It is literally reflecting and glittering with all of the purple transmuting flame, emerald green healing, flaming light the uh, violet ray, the white fire, and the golden white, pink light, prime source, creator God, deep eternal love. We feel this energy because we're part of it. We flow with all of this. We sparkle with it. We're immersed in it. We are the masters. We are the creators. rain coming down over our heads, saturating everything. Our, our third self, our higher self, our physical bodies, from head to toe, inside and out. We see this vibrational warmth penetrating right down to molecular levels. We feel the upsurge of high energy, frequencies of great bliss, prosperity, joy, abundance, loving and caring. We feel this saturation. To be in bliss, in peace, is where we are going permanently. We will be in that energy. We are in it. When we look on the planet to all of our brothers and sisters in all life that we are part of, and we direct a wave from prime source creator God of all there is loving and enveloping energies of high frequency lifting each and every life form on this planet bringing it to an existence of joy harmony, peace prosperity, abundance strength knowledge, awareness, being in total peace, being in love is where we are going. Each step of the way is higher and higher and higher. And we wish this for all life on this planet. We are new. We are the Grand Masters of creation and we are creating this paradise this heaven on earth i'll join you in the meditation and i'll be back to close this out
immerse yourself in the understanding and the clarity of that. You know, and, and a lot of people say, well, that's corny or that sounds silly, but it's true. Because our ego and our minds keeps us from connecting with it. We are the rivers, we're the oceans, we're the creeks, we're the valleys, we're the, we're the trees, we're the air, we're the earth. We are. You know, that we say, I am that I am. You're part of all this energy. Doesn't it make sense that you can command it? You have a consciousness, an advanced consciousness. You have a heart mind. You have a clear awareness. So you think it. But you think it with deepness and deep eternal love. You think it with high amount of frequency. That's how you create it. You cannot create it. If you are in a low frequency, you cannot. It will not occur. You will continue to give power and energy to the low frequencies, which will keep you bound and tied and blocked off from your higher self. This is part of the ascension that we are in, that we are experiencing. Embrace that. That's of high meaning to each and every one of us. And since we are in a higher vibrational frequency and it keeps it keeps going up and up and up, and that we are doing our deepest love for all of our brothers and sisters to assist them in increasing their frequencies. By doing that, by us being in love and peace and prosperity and happiness and joy, non-judgmental, non-ego, without the ego, which is asleep. And we move effortlessly through our heart mind, we can cause this effect, this energy shift. And we are every day increasing the excitement is astronomical and see we're the ones this is, this is interesting you've heard this several times before by different people but we are the ones we have always been waiting for it's finding out that we are the creators of all of this so what do you choose from this day forward what are you going to create? What higher frequency are you going to engage? Not only for yourself, but for all. Take this with you throughout the day, into the evening, into the night, and into the morning. Embrace each second, because each second is new, always. Everything is moving forward. You are moving forward at accelerated rate. You're moving forward and up. Your frequency is increasing. You know this. You all feel it. Embrace it more. It will increase more. You will be in it more. And eventually, you will always be in it. Because you will have become it as you already are. It's the awareness and the togetherness with your higher self. It is heaven on earth. We will return here January 